today I want to share with y'all how I'm prepping and priming my skin for my next TCA peel. And because I have melanin in my skin means I have to take an extra step. So the extra step that I have to do to take care of the melanin in my skin is basically just use this product right here. It's called Fade Bright Fast Acting Pigment Inhibitor. It's for dry, normal, and oily skin. And I got this off of PlatinumSkincare.com. So she says I need to use this twice a day, in the morning and the evening. Anyone who has any kind of melanin in their skin, even if you're tanning, you should stop tanning. Even if you're olive complected or just, you know, just have any kind of melanin in your skin, you should probably use this, that's what she recommends. So this Fade Bright, that's the only extra step I need to take for my melanin, but everything else is pretty much standard. On that same website, Platinum Skincare, they tell you all the products that you need to prep your skin for your TCA. So these are the products that she recommended, not these exact products here per se, but like for example, she says you need a vitamin C. So this is the vitamin C that I'm using, my Kale's Powerful Strength Lime Reducing Concentrate. This has 12.5% vitamin C. So this is the vitamin C that I'm using. She also recommends to use a retinoid or a retinol. This is by um, Platinum and it's um, the Retinol 20. I didn't wanna spend any more money buying the product that she recommended. So I think this will be fine for now. I'm also using this Serum 30, and I mentioned this in my last skincare video. Uh, I started with a sample of this, and I really liked it, so I went back and bought a full-size bottle. She also says that you need a sunscreen, and so I got the Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Liquid Lotion. This is SPF 55. She says to use a minimum of SPF 30. So these are the five products that I'm using on a daily basis to prepare my skin. I'm gonna do this for about four to six weeks before my peel. Another thing I'm doing to prime my face is I've been doing 30% glycolic peels. Um, I've done two so far, most recently. So one glycolic peel every week up until I feel like I'm ready to do the TCA peel. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So Fade Bright twice a day. I use my vitamin C serum in the morning. I use my retinol serum in the evening. And I'm using this Serum 30 like once or twice a day, depending on how my skin feels. Like if my skin is feeling like really dry, then I won't use this. And then I'll be using this sunscreen like as often as possible. It's really hard for me to remember to put this on. Uh, like today, for example, I washed my face, I did my routine, and I decided to put a little blush on. And then when it came time to go outside, I needed to put this on, but I'm like, I don't wanna mess up my blush, so I didn't put nothing on. This is like hit or miss, you know, but I try my best to remember to use it. So I totally think that you should try and prime your skin before you do your TCA because like it'll uh, help improve the results. Um, Cause when you prime your skin, you're exfoliating it and you're kind of like peeling off just a little bit of like whatever's there. I don't know the technical terms, but you kind of like you're peeling your skin back just a little so that TCA can penetrate your skin better. The deeper the TCA goes into your skin, um, like the better results you're gonna have, the more you're gonna peel. So like, I think it's just totally necessary to prime your skin, especially if you've never put acids on your face, you definitely want to put some acids on your face so that you don't like totally shock your your skin with the TCA. So while I'm here, I just wanna show you guys where I'm at after doing two of the TCA peels. The first one was like, mm, not like great. The second one was really good. And hopefully I feel even better this third time. I feel like this priming that I'm doing right now is really gonna boost my results. So this is where I'm at, where you can see the deep acne scars. I'm talking about the grooves, the sunken in acne scars. Hopefully you can see that, but this is where I'm at 
on the right side of my face. The right side of my face is much worse than the left side. So I'm just gonna show you the right side because I have a huge pimple on the left side and I'm just not gonna plaster that all over your screens. At the beginning of my skincare journey, I had a lot of sun damage here, right on my cheekbones and the long hair and on my forehead and those two TCA pills and the glycolic pills and everything I've done up to this point has taken care of that that sun damage. And then in here, it was like really thick and it looked congested. It just looked like tough skin. And so that is like so much better now. It's uh, smoother and it just, just looks more supple. And so, yeah, I'm really excited about this third peel. So one lady recently, she commented and said that she tried the 13%. So if y'all have tried any of these acids on the website, comment and let me know. I think what they're doing at Platinum Skincare is just amazing. It's like a one-stop shop for like everything you need and it's really informative. I learned so much just reading the information just on that website. If you guys have any questions or if you just want to say hi, what's up, uh, please leave a comment and I will respond. And if you have any questions about like um, the acids or whatnot, if you want some really good advice, uh, check out the Platinum Skincare website. If you really want my advice, I can try and help you as best as I can, but I'm not a professional. You know, I didn't go to school for this and I'm just sharing with you guys my journey. And, you know, so um, thanks for watching guys. Bye. Hey.